Hey yo, what's up guys, Raddy here. Today we got the Sony ZV-1 vlogger camera of 2021. I just wanna see if this camera is one of the best vlogger cameras you can buy this year. I've always been interested in this camera, so I got my hands on it today, and we're gonna do a real world testing on this camera. It's not gonna be you know, your typical review about the specs and stuff like that. I just wanna take the camera out. We're gonna go meet up with two of my friends. They both have Honda Civic Type Rs. Uh, one of them is a 2019, I believe, and the other one's a 2021. So I'm gonna shoot like a little sequence. I'm gonna switch in between uh, some of the picture profile. I'm gonna test out the autofocus, see how well it does. If you're watching this video, then you already have a brief idea of how this camera's performing. So this is my first time actually using the camera, so I just wanna I just want to try it out. Uh, so far, so good. The camera, the quality, the picture quality looks amazing. Yeah, it looks, it looks awesome. Uh, skin tone looks looks pretty accurate. The focal range is good, and I believe that the lens on this camera is a 24 to 70 f 2.8. So let's just get it going. And I know the battery life are not that good on this camera, so I'm gonna keep it short, and let's just get it going. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> what up, bro? What's up, man? How's the car? It's good, good. Have a nice. So far, so good, man. That's That's sick, bro. It. All right, so I've only been shooting with this camera for like I don't know, 25 minutes, and the battery's already at like 50%. So like, that's already like a sign of like you're gonna need extra battery for this camera. So I pulled up my power bank. So if I actually need it. I can just plug it in. I got like a 20,000 milliamp power bank. So we'll see how that goes and hopefully we can actually finish up this video on one battery life. So I'll keep it short. All right, so give them a brief overview of your Type R. What do you have done to it? How do you enjoy it? Uh, it's a really nice car, man. Even stock, like, it's a good pickup, man. I was very blown away just by like the power it made stock. I got almost full. Bolt-ons, PRL, I have downpipe, catalyst, uh, mid-pipe, PRL, intercooler, charge pipes, Honda Flash Pro, and yeah, that's about it. And the car um, got attuned by Dyna Motorsports in Toronto by uh, Tony the Tiger. It made uh, 382 wheel, and then torque, it made 388. So. It's pretty impressive, man. Like, you know. That's nice. That's yeah, it's not power. bad for a, for a Honda, right? That's good power. Yeah, I'm content with those numbers. I'm not trying to make crazy power. It's just, you know, just for fun, right? To wake up the car a little bit, right? Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Lapped it a couple times at Cayuga TMP, and that was pretty fun, so. That's sick, yeah. that's sick, yeah. <laughs> You got the full, oh, you, you're gonna have the full Mugen uh, kit, Yes, right? yes, absolutely. I'm waiting, uh, just gonna wait, because it's really expensive, but I'm gonna get the rear and the tails. Hey. And that'll be complete for the kit. Uh, yeah. And then I'm waiting on the wheels too, right? So. Yeah. yeah. So you're locking in with the Rega Masters? Yes, sir. Ah, shit. I still don't know what color, white or uh, the, what do they call it? Uh, the gray one. Yeah, Graphite silver, something like that? I like those two, and I, the other ones I was looking at are, um, I forget the name right now. Uh, they're like dark gray. That's sick. Yeah, that's sick. they're fire, man. And then you're gonna add that little touch to it with the Voltex wing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's a weird, it's a year wait, but we're waiting, man, you know. <laughs> that's gonna be fire, man. Let's go. All right, so we are now shooting in 4K, 24 frames per second. Uh, the previous shots that you just saw were in 1080, 120 frame per second. I like to shoot in that just so in case I want to do some like ultra slow motion, I can in the pinch. And, uh, but right now we're just driving on Ridge Road by the Devil Punch Bowl. If you're from Hamilton, you'll know where, what I'm talking about. Uh, we're gonna go head up the spot that John is recommending. What'd you say? It was like a vintage, like yeah, it's like a little spot. Like it's pretty cool. Uh... It's a little cool spot to post up and get pics or whatever. We can talk about the cars there. You know? Yeah. So far, about the camera. Well, the, the last footage you saw of John talking about his Type R uh, was probably only like I don't know, like two minutes, three minutes, probably less, probably like two minutes. But like the battery life went down all the way to three quarters, like empty. So from like my impressions that if you're trying to like vlog with this camera all day. It probably would, you'll definitely need to buy up more batteries or what I like what I am doing right now is I have a power bank attached to the side of the camera and it's using my power banks uh, 
battery life to power up the camera and so that doesn't affect the actual internal battery and uh, I think that's the only way right now or the best option to go with uh, if you want to actually vlog with this camera all day. That's just one downfall of the Sony that I do not like. I mean you can't really complain because the quality is fire. Um, shooting in 4K and it looks so crispy and uh, it just feels like I'm shooting on my actual full frame camera so I can take that little negative from a camera just to make up for all the resolution so but yo check out these red fucking type R seatbelts so jeez <laughs> love it yo I love the fucking type R's interior man like like it just looks so fucking good like look, look at this red seat suede and then you have the you can oh, you can see a bit of it the, the R type R on the back of the seat man Honda did a great job man like and even, and even on the track this this car is a fucking beast <laughs> and uh, at the moment you can I can see that the eye autofocus is catching my eyes very very good I'm like moving and it's like switching in between both my eyes so I like that that's good the Sony autofocus is amazing we got Herman here He's just chilling Let's see how the autofocus grabs him. It looks like it's catching my face, but um, I'm gonna see if this has tap autofocus. It's only tracking me though. I can't track you. I think now it's tracking you. So, yeah, I think it's, I'm out of focus now. You're focused. Yeah. It's, even with your sunglasses on, it's actually capturing this your eyes it's even like it's considering your sunglasses as an eye autofocus that's crazy, that's crazy. <laughs> this first test will be some shots in 4k 24 frames per second see how crisp the, the shots are in 4k um, it, so far it looks crazy um, but yeah let's let's do the sequence so I'll, I'll put the I'll put like a, a title of which setting I'm shooting in uh, between each shot so check it out and Make the judgments for yourself. Uh, ND filter is still on. The built-in ND filter is still on in the camera. Just so you're aware. So far, this camera's crazy, man. Like, quality's fire. Shooting in 4K, you can see that the, the details is very, very good. Um, so, like, it just looks glossy, like, crisp. Um, it looks really good. This is more than you can ask for. I mean, for the price of, like, 900 bucks, I think, you can buy it on Amazon right now. 9 nine fifty Canadian. I mean, for the double the price of a GoPro, you get, like, a very good system for, like, a, an entry camera to, like, start your YouTube channel. Like, I'm impressed, super impressed. Other than the battery life, I'm like very impressed with this camera. So I was reviewing the footages with Herman. And funny thing I noticed was that, uh, it, I guess this camera does this weird like soft, soft uh, skin type of feature on the fucking camera. But it's kind of funny because my skin is not like that smooth, but in the camera, it's, it looks super smooth. <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught that or not. The boys are here. What up? Yo, check out the S1000, yo, bro. Damn. S2000 looking fire. <laughs> what? Let me put the exhaust tips on. You know, you actually have the exhaust tips for it? Oh, shit. <laughs> yo, that's jokes. Did you get those? Huh? huh? Did you just get those? No, I had those. Oh, you never, you never bought them on? Yeah. Shit. There we go. Jeez. That's a thousand. Look crazy. All right. Actually, for this video, I decided to just shoot a uh, standard picture profile just to give you guys an a overview of how this camera would look if you just literally bought the camera from the store, put in the memory card, 
opened it up and then just started shooting your vlog. So what do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think of the picture quality? Drop it in, in the comments. Uh, let me know because for me, this thing is fire. <laughs> so what do you guys think of the S2000 as well? Right now, S2000s are like it's crazy in value. So anybody out there right now that got an S2000, you got yourself a gold mine. So hold on to that shit because it's only going up. <laughs> Uh, here are some sample shots that I took of John's Type R. So I'm gonna just post up a slideshow, quick slideshow of the photos that I took. Uh, didn't really focus on the framing, so it's just quick examples. But uh, leave it in the comment box. How do you think of the quality of the of the photo from this camera? And uh, yeah, let me know. I think they look fire. So let's see. What you, let's hear your opinion. Alright, so I just tested out this camera in its photo mode and uh, so far, yo, the lens, the quality is fucking crazy. Previewing it through the camera, it looks like it's like friggin' like super sharp. The color rendition is really good. Um, I mean, this is, would be a perfect like just a perfect like grab and go camera just to like take some photos of your day to day activities. I mean, so far like this camera is like Really, really good. I highly recommend it to anybody that's just trying to get into like the content creating. I'm just waiting for it to like get a little darker because I want. I really want to test the low light because it is an f 2.8 lens. Yeah, <laughs> let's see how it goes. All right, so I didn't get a chance to do any low light uh, footages today just because it got really, really cold. I'll definitely do some low light footages, um, another take. I'll probably just drop a video of like of like, a sample of the low light footages. But I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, so far, my first impression on this camera, very, very good. It does live up to its hype. Quality is amazing. The 4K resolution is crazy. Um, the 1080p, I haven't uh, tried this slow-mo yet. Uh, camera's great. Highly recommend it to anyone that's looking for a camera. Good pricing. Uh, right now, you can get it for probably like 850, 900 bucks Canadian, so that's good. Because anything at this quality of resolution you'd be paying up to like twelve hundred to like sixteen hundred dollars for a camera it's it's definitely bang for your buck other than the drawback of the battery life i found it was fairly bad <laughs> i mean like i was only filming for like 20 30 minutes i was already like almost dead if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button uh leave me a comment on what you think about the camera i'll catch you guys on the next video so check in later peace